Hi guys, Arthur here from Homeowner DIY. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the brake shoes on this car behind me. This car behind me is a 2000 Civic. So guys, from 96 to 2000, the parts are all interchangeable. And I've seen later model Civics with the same type of drum brakes, so this is more than just from 96 to 2000. So guys, really quickly, disc brakes are on your front, you'll have brake pads, and then drum brakes are only going to be on your back where you have brake shoes. So drum brakes are an older style, but nowadays you'll only find them on the back. So guys, uh, one other way that uh, I know uh, that these need to be replaced is because of the e-brake. I've already adjusted it to the max. It should have three to five clicks when you pull it and mine's at about 15. So what we'll do is we'll really quickly, we will look at our e-brake. All right guys, so this is our e-brake. So normally it should be about three to five clicks. Something like that. Now in this case, That is how far you can go. So this is uh, this is an indication of what type of shape is uh, your your brake shoes are in. But guys, always make sure that you actually look at the brake shoes. Don't just uh, go and buy material assuming that's what the problem is. Alright guys, so once I'm done this job, what we're also going to do is we are going to uh, recalibrate, readjust the e-brake. The e to the thickness uh, of the new shoes. So guys, what we'll do now is material and tools. All right guys, this is our material list. So we have gloves, we have our brake shoes. These are Pro Max. These are our brake shoes themselves. Guys, we have grease, specific for brakes. And then we have brake cleaner. Again, this is specific for brakes. Guys, this is what I need to do this job. So what we'll do now is the tools list. All right guys, this is our tools list. So I have a block. I'm gonna use a block instead of jack stands, but I will show you guys where to throw a jack stand if that's what you're gonna use. I have a jack. I have sockets. This is another set of sockets. This is for the lug nuts. Guys, for safety equipment, glasses and earplugs. I highly recommend on this job to wear safety glasses because you're gonna be using a brake cleaner as well as you're taking springs out that are under tension. So let's be safe and protect our eyes. I have two needle nose pliers, a small one and a bigger one. I have channel locks. I have a uh, steel bristle brush. These are two M8 bolts to take off the drum. I have a small flathead. I have a bigger flathead, vice grips, and then I have a half inch impact. Guys, this is what I believe I need to do this job. So let's get started. All right guys, first thing we're gonna do is loosen off our lug nuts. So guys, these are 19 millimeter. All right guys, next thing we're going to do is we're going to back up our car. All right, so guys, uh, the protrusion is our anchor point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the car up. All right guys, so this is our block and we want to be just underneath here. When I lower down the jack, the suspension is going to take it up here. So guys, if you want to use jack stands, you can use this here as a bearing point. I'm not going to, I think blocks are going to be faster. So what I'll do is I'll drop the car down. All right guys, this is our drum. Now, First thing you need to keep in mind is your e-brake has to be off because if your e-brake is on, your shoes are going to be contacting your drum here. All right guys, well I couldn't get the other side off by tapping it so I had to use a couple of bolts. So guys, we have one here and then one here. And the idea is, what you do is you tighten up your bolts, you thread them in. 
and then you tighten them up and that's going to push the drum off. So guys, with your drum, you have a whole bunch of dust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this off with brake cleaner. We'll spray this out too and clean everything up. And then we'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. All right guys, this is our braking system. So we have the one shoe here, we have the other shoe here. So guys, when you hit the brakes, there is a piston on both sides and it's gonna expand to push your brake shoes out. So we have a return spring for our shoes. So this is going to keep the shoes uh, tight together when you're driving that you're not dragging along the drum. We have our uh, parking brake uh, automatic adjuster. So guys, as your shoes wear, this will adjust and then hook on to this here and then it'll hold this place as it uh, expands out. Guys, we'll take a look at this when I take it apart. So we have our one spring here. We have one clip, we have two clips. These are actually what hold on our brake shoes. And then underneath here, we have another spring as well. So guys, before you ever get started, make sure you take a video or, or pictures. Have a reference in case you run into problems trying to put this thing back together because you can get confused and I've seen some fairly complicated ones. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this spring off. And throw that off the side. So guys, this is now, and it's not under spring tension, so we can take this out as well. So guys, in this case here, I highly recommend you put your lug nuts back onto your studs because we're going to be using a flathead for leverage on these and we want to protect our threads so we don't damage them. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is we need to get the tension off of this spring here. So you see this little threaded area right here. So if you spin this up, that is going to uh, thread this back in and that's going to take as much tension off this spring that we can. All right guys, you can see how there's no threads left here. So that means this is as tight as it can go. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna take the, the spring off. So in this area here, put the vice grips on and then what we're gonna do is we're going to put our big flat head and use leverage this way on the vice grips to get this to come out. Guys, this is the hardest part of the job right here. All right guys, we'll take our vice grips, our needle nose vice grips. And then we're going to clamp it onto our spring. All right, guys, so we're going to use our big flathead and then we're going to do a prying motion to try to get this off. All right guys, there is our spring. So what we'll do now is we're going to take our two clips off. So we have a groove here. So what you need to do is you need to depress this and then you need to spin this. Guys, I'll take it out and then we'll see what it looks like. All right, so you guys can see what this looks like. So we have this, so it goes in and then you spin it and then it should catch right in the grooves. So we have that one off, we'll take the other one off. All right guys, so as this thing gets used, it'll unthread to take up the wear in the shoes. All right guys, so if you want a bit of a contrast, this has, I don't know, maybe a millimeter and a half left here and then this is our, our new one. All right guys, so now what we need to do is we need to 
take apart our parking brake. All right guys, so this is our bracket for our e-brake. And this is our horseshoe clip. So we need to get this clip off. The easiest way I found to do this is to pry both ends up. And then once you uh, have them pried up, to take needle nose pliers and then try to separate it. Guys, once the, this is open and we can get it out enough on the top here, we will use the space to use a screwdriver or pliers to pry it the rest of the way out. All right guys, so with our small flathead, I think the easiest thing to do is to try to get the tops up. And be careful about not cutting yourself because this is actually quite difficult. All right, so we have a little bit of uh, a gap here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the needle nose pliers in between the gap. So I'm going to put the needle nose pliers in between and then try to stretch it out like this. All right, guys, so what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to try to use the back frame here and try to pull out on the wings of the horseshoe clip using my channel locks all right guys so this is our clip it's just about ready to be taken off all right guys so underneath our bracket we have a washer take the washer out and then there's also a pin all right guys there's our pin and then this that is our Lever for a parking and brake. All right, guys, so everything has now been taken apart. So what I'm going to do is let's clean this all up. We'll brush everything off. Do a good cleaning here. All right, guys, really quickly, this is an overview of all of our parts. So we have our two clips here. We have our bottom spring. We have our pin. The washer goes over the pin. The horseshoe clip goes over. So, guys, as you can see here, how I bent it up. So if you bend up the wings and then try to separate them, that is the easiest way to, to take this thing off. It is tedious, it is difficult, it's not fun. So for our parking brake adjustment, this is our return spring, and then this is our, uh, for our parking brake. So as it wears, uh, this will keep going out. So guys, what I'm gonna do, oh sorry, also, uh, and then we have our drum, and then our our shoes, it contacts like that when it comes out. But guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this all up now, and then we'll start with, real, with reassembly. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to flatten out our clip. Otherwise, it'll never go back on. All right, guys, with that done and everything cleaned up, ready to go, what we'll do is we're going to lube this up first. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is clean this off. And now we're going to take our brake lubricant and just put a little bit on the threads. Guys, that's more than enough. And then as we thread this in, that's going to distribute our lubricant along the threads. And then guys, don't forget to put a little bit on here as well. All right, guys, so the first thing is you need to make sure that your two shoes, if one is longer, this one is slightly longer, that one goes to the back of the car. So the longer will go onto your e-brake side. So there's our notch for our uh, adjuster. 
So what we do is we'll put our, our pin in first. And guys, if you need to just tap it with the, with the hammer. So we'll put that over, we'll put that over there. We have our washer, we'll put that on top. And guys, then we have our, sh our horseshoe clip. Uh, remember, if you bend this thing, it has to go flat, otherwise you're not gonna be able to get it on. Oh, I was able to do this just by hand. All right guys, so with that done, now what we're going to do is we're just going to clamp this shut. All right guys, so next thing we need to do is here, here, and here, it's easier to see on this side. So we have this, this, and this. Guys, we need to lubricate these with some grease as well as on our, our shoes. You have one, two, three. So you're gonna lubricate those as well. All right guys, so now on our shoes, And guys, once again, don't get anything on this surface here. This or your drum, if you do, clean it off. All right, so it goes on like this. So guys, the top tab needs to, to go inside. Oh, and before I forget, so this is our, our spring. So have the spring here, the open end towards the outside. All right, so we'll... Take our pin. And then guys, once again, make sure that your pin is vertical so it slides in through the notch on the clip. All right guys, and then make sure that your clip, you spin it so it fits right inside the grooves. All right guys, so let's lube up our contact points. We'll put our shoe behind. So guys, underneath here, we'll look at this in a moment, but there's a tab underneath. So make sure that the spring goes in behind that tab because that's where it was before. All right guys, so we got that back on. Now we're going to Put our adjustment so if you notice this here how it's uh, it notches so when you put it in this is going to be to the outside of the pad it's, it's gonna go it'll sit like that for the parking brake all right guys once that is on in this hole here we're going to put our adjuster so th the wing up here has to fit in behind here on what we'll do is we'll get our spring this is our spring it doesn't matter which way uh you put it it's the same thing both ways so guys we will hook it into our bottom grab our top and now we have to hook the top in place all right guys so we're gonna put our spring back on so the short end goes in the back and then we gotta hook on to uh the whole right here so guys once again uh back this out so or uh keep this as small as possible we're gonna hook onto the one side we will grab our channel lock sorry our vice grips and now guys what you need to do is you need to brace the one side i managed to do this on my own but if you don't brace this other one is going to want to pop out on you as you try to uh, do the two together. Alright guys, as expected, that was difficult. So the one part of the spring is there. The other one is uh, there. Alright guys, this thing is all now back together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this boot back over the groove here. And then what we're gonna do is uh, we will adjust the, the mechanism here for our e-brake. 
All right, guys, so we will adjust our brake a little bit. We'll expand it a bit. All right, guys, so for the front, we have the same thing. We have our three points of contact on both sides. So we're just going to give it a little bit of grease. All right, guys, we're going to throw our drum back on. Now, the drum should just go on. If the drum doesn't go back on, that means you've extended this too far out. Which I believe I have. Alright guys, so our drum is back on. Alright guys, now we're going to check for how tight our shoes are. So all you want to do is spin it and you should hear a slight drag. Alright, so that sounds fine. So. We'll get the tire back on and lower the car. All right guys, so what we'll do is start the car. And now, Pump your brakes. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go take this for a test drive. Again, what I'm looking for is, do I notice anything out of the ordinary? Dragging, strange sounds. If, if you notice anything, bring the car right back. But what I'll do is I'll go take it for a quick test drive and then we'll come back and then adjust the e-brake. All right guys, this is our e-brake. I took out the cover just to make it easier to see. So I've got a 12 mil socket. So what we'll do is we'll loosen this up first. And then we'll see where. All right, that seems to be all right. All right guys, so now the next thing to do is go park on a hill and see if you're gonna roll anywhere. All right guys, so that concludes this job. So this isn't a complicated job. It's just not an easy one. The horseshoe clip and then the, the spring are the two toughest parts of this job. But guys, everything went well. I, I had no hiccups, no problems. So I'm, I'm really happy with this job. Guys, the time on this job. The time was uh, two hours for the one tire. And then I, I did the other one yesterday to figure out what is the, uh, the easiest approach to go about this. The cost of this job, so the shoes, the grease, and then the brake cleaner. Guys, the job or the cost of this job was about $50. Uh, if you are adventurous, you can give this job a try, but like I said, it's a simple, it's just not an easy job. I mean, really, I didn't have fun with this job, but you don't get better if you don't challenge yourself. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope something here is going to help you on your project when you need to go ahead and do that. Guys, until next time, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next project.